How are you all? I am doing very well here. Today I am going to tell you a lovely little story. It's about a little girl in a red cloak. Yes, it's about little red riding hood. And today I'm going to read it out from my very little book here. Little Red Riding Hood Wearing a red hood Isn't she pretty? But where is she going? Oh my God, look who's beside her. Is that a wolf? Are you interested to know what happened? Let's read to find out. There you go. That what a lovely little picture that is. Little Red Riding Hood, she's going somewhere. And there is her mother. Can you see that? Yes, she's saying bye-bye. So let's read what is going on. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who was called Little Red Riding Hood because she always wore a red cloak. One day, her mother asked her to take a basket of goodies to her grandmother who was sick in bed. I want you to go straight to Granny's house, her mother said. Don't wander off the path. The woods can be dangerous and don't talk to strangers. Don't worry, Little Red Riding Hood replied. So off she went. She had not gone very far before she met her friend, the woodcutter. Ah, that is the woodcutter. Look, yes. Where are you going, little Red Riding Hood? He asked. I'm taking some goodies to Granny because she's sick in bed, she replied. That's a nice thing to do, the woodcutter said. But remember, the woods can be dangerous. Don't wander off the path and don't talk to strangers. Don't worry, little red lighting hood replied. And off she went. Now where is she going? <gasps> Whoa, look, who's that? Is that the dwarf? And Little Red Riding Hood really looks scared. What's going on here? A little while later, Little Red Riding Hood met a big grey wolf. Where are you going, Little Red Riding Hood? He asked. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers, the little girl said. Would I know your name if I was a stranger? The cunning wolf asked. I guess not, Little Red Riding Hood replied. You see, she did not know that the wolf had heard her talking with the woodcutter. So she told the wolf exactly where she was going. What did she say? She told him where his where her grandma lived had so what happened next ah look what has happened the wolf ran ahead to granny's house and locked the old lady in a closet oh no what a bad wolf you are then he put on her sleeping cap and climbed into her bed with the covers pulled up over his face. Soon Little Red Riding Hood arrived. Who is it? The wolf said in the old lady's voice. It is me, Little Red Riding Hood, Granny. The door is open, dear. Come in, said the bad wolf. Little Red Riding Hood right away could see there was something wrong with Granny. 
She went close to Granny and asked, Granny, Granny, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my dear, said the big bad wolf in her Granny's voice. Granny, Granny, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my dear. Red Riding Hood asked again, Granny, Granny, what big nose you have. All the better to smell you, my dear, said the big bad wolf. Red Riding Hood noticed that her granny had really big teeth. So she asked, Granny, Granny, what big teeth do you have? She was really scared, remember? What happened then? The wolf jumped up and said, All the better to eat you with, my dear. And he threw off the cover. Poor little Red Riding Hood. She could hear the wolf gnashing his teeth as she ran for the door and straight into the arms of her friend the woodcutter. He had come by to see if Granny was feeling better. The woodcutter got rid of the wolf and then led Granny out of the closet. As for little Red Riding Hood, she now knew the difference between friends and strangers. The End So kids, how did you like the story? Because I sure did love it. Remember what Red Riding Hood learnt? That you should be careful from strangers and that you should always listen to your parents. So, be safe, be happy and keep reading. Till then, bye bye from me.